Good evening, people. Watch number 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. That's how we're saved. It is grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you accept Christ as Savior, admit you're a sinner and put your faith and trust in him, accept him as Savior, you're saved. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. He will lead you. He will seal you. Therefore, you can't lose your salvation. He's your best friend. He will lead you. And he will guide you. Folks, this is very, very serious because Russian forces are opening fire upon a nuclear plant in Zephyrnesia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Europe's largest nuclear plant is on fire and there's elevated radiation that's coming out. And they're firing at this nuclear plant that, can, that they're saying that if it blows... It will be worse, 10 times worse than Chernobyl. And Russia is the, what, uh, Zeporazia nuclear plant in Ukraine. It's the largest of its kind in Europe. It was on fire early on uh, Friday, which is their time, after an attack by Russian troops. The mayor of the nearby uh, town where the plant workers live, said in an online post, Russian forces opened fire next to Europe's largest power plant. This is bad because those people don't have power. They don't have heat. They don't have anything right now. And this thing is on fire, and there's elevated radiation coming coming out of it right now. Um, at least two residents were injured by the shelling after Russia entered the town. Um, earlier on Thursday, three uh, Zeporazia residents were killed in the shelling of, the hosp in, of a hospital in the city by Russian forces. The civil administration said in a telegram, four more were injured. Uh, the administration uh, stated the Ukrainian military said on Thursday it believed that Belarusian tri uh, troops have already received the order to cross a uh, Ukrainian border. Ukraine has said Russia is using Belarusian territory for missile attacks on Ukrainian cities and Minsk allowed Russian troops to enter Ukrainian territories. So right now, it sounds like they're being bombarded. They're being trapped in there. Um, at least 33 bodies have been recovered from the rubble in the wake of Russian airstrikes in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Emergency Services said in an online post, uh, it said rescue work was going on without specifying where exactly the attack took place. Earlier, uh, the regional governor said at least nine people had been killed by an airstrike. This, I'm watching this on Fox with Jesse Waters right now, and I guess this plant, this nuclear power plant just got hit, and they're continuing to hit this plant and the radiation is elevating so uh, it looks like they're doing this on purpose I would say but um, Jerusalem Post someone one of my subscribers sent it to me uh, from Jerusalem Post so I'm gonna link it in the description box that's what we they're working on the story now that's all I have so far um, if anything else comes up tonight I'll be back in uh I'll put it on for you. But in the meantime, I'm going to link this, what I have so far, in the description box. So it sounds like he's he's trying to get them out of there one way or another. He's going to take Ukraine. And it's not going to be pretty. So I will be back later. Thank you.